All right, there we go. Um, gonna get started tonight. We just had a great leadership call, so we're gonna keep uh, this um, this uh, jumpstart your month uh, pretty short and sweet. A um, lot of great stuff happening this month, and actually, we'll uh, we'll start out the month with uh, random props. Let me actually head across here. Uh, we had so many great people doing a lot of great things last month. I'm just gonna go at random because uh, I actually had the file of all of the lists of rank ups, so I'm just gonna see if I can commit them from memory. So. Um, Brandon and Sarah, new executive directors, congratulations. Also had Lacey Bertram, new fully integrated uh, national. Sherry Prochaska, new uh, integrated national. Tim and Kelly, fully integrated regionals. Um, let's see here. Um, Lori Anderson, uh, third month of qualification, new fully integrated uh, regional director. Um, let's see here. Jen and Michelle, uh, no rank up, but you can only help so many people pass ED. So, um, you guys are killing your frontline volume, and you did amazing in your hotel room. Um, also, Stephen and uh, and Wall, you guys did great with your guys' room as well. Um, Allison Petty, you heard her on the call. Uh, started 14 clients and just a rock star taking um, um, action out there. Let's see here. Harleen, new manager. Um, let's see here. Who else? Um, Steve, uh, new senior coach. Mary's a new manager. Christina, you hit associate director. Woo -hoo. Um, Greg Ellis, manager, page, your PCOS page is doing amazing. Um, let's see here. Uh, Gina, I love your walkers club that you're setting up over there in California. Uh, and just a ton of people in between. So, um, Robin, uh, new manager and let's see here, uh, Shelly, new associate director. Um, man, you guys like, you know, we were talking about on the call, it being not a down time of year. And it literally is only, it's, it's only down if you decide to go down. It literally, there's people that want to be healthy out there. Dan cited all the reasons for it. So uh, let's talk about that tonight. So um, before we get started, just, we wanted to give you guys some information just so you guys know how to plan your month. That's kind of the beauty of this Jumpstart Your Month webinar um, is we have 30 minute trainings on Wednesday that we've been doing. We're in a series of this. This isn't something we do, um, you know, all the time, but uh, we're in the middle of a series. Uh, last week's was, uh, I liked last week's and the week before that was uh, time management was really good. If you haven't caught that webinar, watch that one. Last week was behavioral styles. Another great one. Anyone learn anything new about their behavioral styles last week? Anyone figure out they were something? Anyone learn anything good about that? Just raise your hand if you did. All right, there we go. Um, next week's will be the art of asking questions. And this is actually, again, one of my favorite webinars because we all, kind of sometimes wonder like, ah, oh, what do I say to people? What do I talk about? I don't want to verbal vomit with them. And it really comes down to, it doesn't matter how much we know. It doesn't matter. People don't know how much or care how much you know until they know how much you care. So we're going to get really good at the power of asking questions and that art of asking questions. And really, there's an additional thing besides it helps you focus on helping people that you want to just help. But also the person that asks the questions holds the frame of the conversation, which is something I learned um, um, it, you know, down the line, which was really good. So that's good. And then the one, the week after that, uh, we have not uh, figured out exactly which topic we will want, but we got a couple more. But if you also have any things you guys would particularly want to um, learn or have a, a 30 minute topic on, go ahead and uh, Facebook message Ashley and I, and we'll cover that. Uh, also wanted to get out some training dates. We have a lot of training. So if you know people or you are near these locations this next month, make sure you make it to an event. Uh, we got uh, Iowa, Maryland, uh, Sarasota and Everett, uh, Washington, um, all on the on the eighth of this month. Um, so, Doctor A's at the one in Annapolis. Do you know anyone near that? Uh, that's a great one to get to. And then we will be holding our own. Um, I'm actually teaming up. Ashley and I are teaming up with a bunch of local global directors here in the uh, Portland metro area. So it's going to be Vancouver, Washington. And if you are in the area, we're actually having everyone over for um, for lunch afterwards. So hope you guys can make it. Steven, I know you want to come up here and maybe play some paintball with me after you might make the trip for that. So, um, and I always put that reminder in there is, you know, you become like the five people you spend your most time with. So, you know, select carefully, be around people that encourage you to stay focused on your goals. That's one of the most important things about structural tension. So we already hit some rank advancements, so that's really good. Um, I wanted to get to the main topic tonight. Cause we, again, we're going to keep it short and sweet and just kind of build off of the leadership call. Uh, but, you know, this is the season of planting seeds right now. Not only do you guys now know more about the incentive and how achievable that is, like literally, if, you know, you, you, let's just say you were one of the people that maybe checked out last month and you weren't even on it. You know, it's not too late to maybe to not only catch up, but win the entire thing with the people you're helping. The other thing about it is you win either way, because if you're doing enough action to make the incentive happen, and let's just say, you know, maybe you don't get all the way there, you're laying the groundwork for 
the new year. And right now, you know, this is, would be our sixth new year as health coaches. And one thing that we've learned is this is the time where you get the biggest bang for your buck in the months to come because it's not always about instant gratification. It's about seed planting. And just like, um, you know, a farmer, you have to harvest or you have to plant your seeds. You have to take care of those seeds. Some of them come up pretty quickly and some of them are credit card throwers like in the sense of a client some people need some nurturing and they need to take some time and they take some careful taking care of over a season so I'm gonna ask you guys is what are you doing to plant seeds over the season are you very present with all of your pre clients are you taking careful action with like they were talking about on the call are you connecting with people are you being bold are you picking up the phone and connecting with people do you have your list and are you adding to it every single day and then are you making sure that you're chipping away at it every single day some people have more time on their hands so you should be you know getting a lot more done some people have less but are you consistently you know making an impact in those around you and also remembering that that first you know stone you throw that first seed you plant may not you know harvest the next may not be able to be harvested the next day but some of them will, some of them will be in a few weeks and some of them will be a few months later. So um, that's the thing that I just want to speak on for that. Um, you know, we're finishing up this challenge and many of you guys, this was our first challenges uh, that we've done. Um, but the other thing to remember is that we're going to start another one in January. And I believe I actually heard today that that official date should be the 12th of January. So basically that gives us this time now, again, to continually layer people. Because not only everyone that was in the challenge this last time, they'll, um, they'll be getting set up and get into the next challenge and they'll just continue their health journey, but we'll be, have the ability to add more people into it. We're a little bit more comfortable with the, com, uh, the uh, context of it. And I know everyone at the end of this challenge was kind of kicking themselves, wishing they had a ton more people in their room. Like, oh, I, I knew that person would like that scholarship. I knew that person wants to be a health coach. So now you guys can know a little bit more of where to focus your time on that. Um, and have that uh, that tool available for you. But um, it just goes back to this being a season of, of planting here. I'm just going to go back to check my notes real quick. Um, let's see here. Yeah, that's pretty much it, just about seed planting and remembering what's coming up in the new year. So uh, chipping away at your goal, if you add five clients a month, if you literally track that incentive, your business is going to be in a whole new place You know, at the end of this month at the end of next month, and then in the new year. But, uh, you know, what are you doing to connect with those people? And basically, again, I'm just going to revisit that. What is your pace for how you're reaching out? What is your efficiency? We get paid on the amount of people we impact. So what are you doing each week to do that? Um, just things I'm going to remind people of this month is don't forget to set goals. You know, we had uh, last month, you know, we kicked off the uh, Wednesday night thing talking about um, basically just different areas uh, of webinars that would help you, you know, expand your business. The last month was all about how you set goals and it's how to set goals that are measurable. So as we're starting this month, if it's the third of the month and you haven't set your goals, that's something you might want to work on because you don't want, you know, to have your business coach coming down and saying, Hey, what are your goals? You should be a go getter. You should be on it. You should be basically emailing your, your support team, whether it's us or if it's someone else, what are your goals? Be accountable to somebody. Make sure you put them down on paper because instead of just saying, oh, I think I want to do this, when you put them down, there's an actual chemical reaction that goes on with your brain when you write down goals and then start going after it. Not only does your support team know what they are, but you're making them, you're making a commitment to them because you wrote them down. So again, SMART goals are specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time-based goals. So that's basically, you know, what are you setting up for this month? What do you want to accomplish? What are you setting up so you can chip away at that bigger goal? Because this is something that you build up over time. So what, what's your action steps going to be? What are you going to do as far as layering? Um, and what are you going to do to get connected with people? And what ideally would your outcome be if you put in this effort um, and your time blocking at the end of the single month? And then here's another cool thing that will get you a little excited because, you know, we might not always be super stoked on what a one month can do for us, but if you do that this month and then you compound it by next month, and then if you do that again in January, where would that put you then? Because I think you'd be surprised if you actually thought that out. It might actually be pretty exciting to you. So that's some of the stuff I wanted to cover on that, but it pertaining to this month, just begin again because planning is so important. This is a short month, uh, not only in the days of the month, but also because we pretty much will – um, you know, holidays kick off uh, around the 24th uh, and, you know, different family gatherings. Thanksgiving is going to be there. I can't remember the exact date. Thanksgiving, let me look it up real quick. It is Thanksgiving is the 27th. So if I was, if I was in your guys' shoes, same way that we're planning our business is we're taking our action and we're setting our pace 
to be um, basically wrapping up around the 24th. Anything you do after the 24th would be a bonus. But the coolest thing that we like to always remind people too is treat the front of the month, the first 15 days, treat it you know, just like you would the last 15 days of the month. You heard uh, Allison on the call. She's like, she waited and she got started all those clients on the last few days of the month because she started taking action. What would her month have looked like if she had taken the same amount of action, started from the first and kept on going? Imagine where she would have been. She probably would have been like 36 clients, you know, because she could have multiplied that out. So just some, just some kind of examples, but do recall that we are going to be, you know, Kind of mentally prepare yourself that the 24th will be your wrap up. You want to be where you want to be on the 24th. And if anything that happens after that's a bonus, because here's the other thing is we're going into the time where we're going to naturally be around a lot of people. It's time to get connected with friends. It's time to get connected with family. Many of you, people that you haven't seen in a long time, a lot of people uh, you haven't seen since you have gotten healthy or changed your health. So are you prepared to share health with these people? Because it is all about the numbers. Are you guys making sure that you're connected with, are you ready to share? Don't go to a family gathering. Don't go to, uh, you know, a connect with a fan or with a friend and we leave there saying, oh, I wish I would have said something. So practice ahead of time. If you haven't already got a chance to share with them because you want to be on purpose, like we were talking about on the leadership call, you know, make sure you are ready to share with everyone what you're doing. Because again, this is the time where you plant those seeds and they'll either start to join you before the new year or after the new year with your purpose. So. Just stuff that I wanted to cover and help you guys think about as you guys are getting started on your month. So um, uh, let's see here. I got the challenge date up for January. You guys, we guys, we got to cover uh, the incentive that uh, we talked about on the leadership call. So you guys are all in check on that. And just to recap, so you can literally like, you know, if you're a new coach, it starts over for you this month. Your first five clients will get you um, your first hundred dollars and then it continues on from there. If you are a seasoned coach and you haven't already gotten your five, and I know many of you have already gotten five, 10, and 15, uh, if you haven't, maybe you got just a tick under you know, four, you can still qualify for all bonuses. You just have to have 10 total by the end of this month to keep on pace. So many of you, I think actually a couple of you, we already talked about that being your goal for this month to finish up a 10 new client. So um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, I'm gonna take it off share real quick. So I can see all your guys' beautiful faces. Um, anything going well? Anything, anyone questions anyone want to chime in with here? You guys can go ahead and unmute yourself. And actually, before I forget, Ryan, congrats on hitting the 50-pound mark. Well done, my friend. And Dan, congrats on rocking another month while having your third child. That's pretty amazing. So um, um, any questions that anyone want to jump on? This is a new time of year. Many of you guys haven't experienced a new year with us before. Um, anything you guys have questions on as, as we kind of go into our November and go into uh, the new year. Go ahead, Denise, yeah. I just uh, wanted to say that uh, when I originally did uh, my five and one, losing my 100 pounds, I went all the way through the holidays. Mm. I just did it. So then when I was a health coach the following year, I just continued to do what I did. I had people starting two days before Thanksgiving. I didn't think any differently. So I just want to encourage people that when people say, well, I want to wait until January, we'll question that person and find out what they're really wanting and just, you know, help them see that you could, where they could be even by Christmas. So. Oh, that's brilliant. Did anyone else on this line, did anyone else lose their weight through the holidays? All right. Actually, Lori and Garrett, would you comment to that real quick? Hey, we, um, Halloween two years ago and we got through Halloween and through Thanksgiving and Christmas but New we just Year's. wanted it and New Year's we just wanted it said we just gotta see where people are at and what they how badly they want it and don't assume that they're not gonna start because the way because nothing better than getting to New Year's Eve or New Year's Day we just we already got to our goal it was just about and every year for then was always about, I got to lose the weight. I got to lose the weight. And time ever we got it and we, it, it, it was the best feeling in the world. So Absolutely. that's what we share with our clients getting started. Awesome. And then actually I'm going to impromptu just cause she's been so awesome all over, all over tonight. Allison Petty, would you come on for a second? Awesome job. Well, you obviously know exactly what it's like to not have any fear about starting anyone through the holidays. Um, and you, we obviously all know your story of how you finished up last month. 
what are you doing to structure your time? What goals have you set? Like, we don't even know your numbers, but like, as far as new client and time blocking, where are you, where are you putting your energy this month to continue on that? I'm really putting my energy on bringing on new coaches. Um, I'm always looking for more clients because of course, coaches come from clients. I mean, m most of the time. Um, so I'm really spending some, um, some time doing that and working with Dawn to figure out a good plan. Coaches are definitely um, my weakness, and I know that. I'm really strong client acquisition. I think that I've come, in, come into that really well, but the coach thing I really need to work on. So that's really where I'm going to be focusing my time. And something else I wanted to say, and I don't know. Well, never mind. I won't say it. What, what was it? Go for it. I am. Um, I wasn't sure about saying this on the leadership call or what, but I really, a lot of my fear for this last month, I really broke through a lot of that by um, realizing one, that we have the, um, the best program on the market. I mean, we know that. We all know that. We're all coaches for this program for Take Shape for Life. But um, I used the, um, the free $85, the five um, free boxes of food kind of is a little way to make me feel a little more comfortable where I would call people and just say, hey, if you start right now, um, you get $85 worth of food. I mean, they always get that. Um, but it was just something that made me feel a little more comfortable in saying that we have, we have this and um, you, get, you get this off of so, yeah, actually, um, that's something that's really important. We talked about the very important, the very beginning of the leadership call is that you always have something that's exciting and relevant to talk to someone about. So whatever it is, like in your case, it was the challenge ending up or, you know, for a few people, it was that it was the incentive for a few people. It was, you know, just recapping that you had done the challenge or going into this time of year. It's always great to reach out to someone with, a, you know, just pick something that you are particularly excited about. There's always this is my biggest thing is there's always a million reasons not to get healthy, not to do something right now. You guys and us as world changers, what are we doing to fight for someone to say yes right now? Because we know they thank us. We know that. I mean, does anyone here, anyone regret getting healthy? Anyone? Anyone? No, I didn't see any hands. Okay. I take mine down because I don't. I, I was really happy I did it. So anyways, that's what I, that's what I would leave you guys with. And at this time of year right now, just get on purpose. If you want to be efficient, the only thing that we do in this business is we share and start clients and we, um, you know, share and start health coaches. So let's, let's do that. Let's spend our time, track your shares and just have a lot of fun. And, um, one thing that I'll, I'll kind of layer ahead of time, um, is when it gets to December, a really fun thing to do is do a story a day. A lot of people do this just randomly. We do, we call it 30 days of uh, inspiration or and 30 days of hope. It's really fun to actually commit to it through the month of December because Guess what everyone's thinking about through the holidays? Either how great they feel because you're helping them or how cruddy they feel because they wish they weren't seeing everyone overweight or getting, or getting more overweight. So I do that because one, the challenge for the January is going to open on the first. So if you guys want to maybe set in your reminders in your schedule now to start doing that, like that's been a very inspirational thing. You can take all the stories of the people around you. It's pretty easy to come up with 30. We have thousands of health stories. So that's just one tip I'll give you guys ahead of time so you can start getting prepared for that. But um, no, this is seed planting season, guys. Uh, we're all having a lot of fun right now. Um, let's continue to go after this incentive. If you haven't made a plan yet, and I know pretty much most of you guys, I'm looking at all the people online, pretty much have. Reach out to your support team. We'll help you do that. Um, and um, let's do that. Let's go have an awesome uh, November, guys. Awesome. Last props. Um, let's see here. Um, Nope, never mind. I got them all. Um, let's see here. Oh, Jeff, you started three clients last month. Well done. Just want to give you props on that as well. So good job, everybody. And uh, thanks for being on the call tonight. And uh, let's go make it an awesome November. Thanks, Brad.